Okay, so when applying for most positions, whether creative, acting, directing, designing, or administrative, producer, outreach coordinator, marketing, etc., cetera, um, you will likely be asked to provide a resume. If you've never created a resume, there are many templates online that you can take a look at in terms of like formatting and punching that in and what you might want to include. Um, the important thing is that your resume should reflect who you are and be relevant to the position you're applying for. You don't need to include everything, uh, all your training skills, experiences, but you know, pick the ones that you think will be useful and will show the hiring company uh, why you would be a good fit for the position. Great, we're going to look at an example resume and just go through some details of what's on there. Okay, so here's my resume. Um, it's four pages, so it's not a good example, but I have lots of categories. So I start with my name, uh, I have like training and education, and I include lots of different details and categories on that. Um, I talk about my work at uh, Guandac Theater currently. Uh, I talk about my past work at the last theater I worked at. Uh, I also include like panels, speaking events, working groups, committees, juries, all sorts of stuff like that, that um, is uh, uh, stuff that we do as, as artists. Um, I'm an actor mostly, so the actor section just goes on and on, but I include like the name of the show, who I played, uh, the company, director, um, I talk about awards, grants, and other relevant experience like that I used to run a gardening company or that I was on another board. If you're applying or submitting for a position uh, for the first time and don't have many previous experiences in that type of role, that's okay. Um, at Guandac Theatre, we're always trying to get new people to apply and new people to be involved. So it's really no problem if you don't have any theatre experience or producing experience. Um, think of all the related experience that you do have. Uh, for example, if you are submitting for a directing role and you've never directed a play, include experience uh, uh, include all the experiences that you have in other roles in theater productions or, or think about other leadership positions you've been in. Maybe you coached swimming or maybe, maybe you've been a teacher's assistant or, or a, a camp counselor, all these kinds of positions where you're directing people. If you have worked in other creative disciplines, for example, uh, you're applying for a role as a theater designer and have experience as a visual artist or drag performer or spoken word poet, include that experience as well. There's lots of transferable skills, so just don't undervalue your experience. You will often be asked for a statement of interest or a cover letter alongside your resume. This is your opportunity to highlight certain aspects of your resume, but also to share things about yourself that your resume doesn't tell the hiring company. Um, don't worry about following a format with your statement of interest, unless they give you like a specific, do this, do that, do this, do that. Um, be yourself, give some insight into who you are as a person, why you're an artist, what makes you excited, what drew you to that specific position that you're applying for, um, how that position aligns for the goals that you have for yourself is a really big one. Um, write the letter in your voice. Don't worry about sounding formal or professional or, or perfect. Like people want to get to know you and who you are. Um, some more tips on writing blurbs and statements and bios can be found in the, uh, the, the blurbs and statements and bios video. So please check that one out uh, uh, for any other cover letter type advice. Thank you.